What's going on? How are you guys today? Another Monday down at Frankie's Free Range Meat. And guys, I am excited because I have another one of my genius ideas. We are going to convert this whole slumlord of a warehouse into a nightclub. Because if you guys have seen the underground New York City nightlife scene, you will know that every party happens in some like slumlord warehouse. And since I'm investing all this money in this building I don't own that I only lease. Hey, I think uh, we'll have an increase in revenue. We could put, like, I don't know how high these ceilings are. They're like 20 feet. How many girls do you think you can fit on a 20 foot long pole, guys? You know, we could put the bar right here in the front. It's perfect. We did all the plumbing already. We can just hook these sinks up the other way, turn them around, put a nice bar in front. The entrance is perfect because you can screen people in the front. They can come to the upstairs bar or they could go to the downstairs bar, which would be like a more exclusive kind of uh, thing. I mean, I mean, the location could be better. I don't, I don't know if people would really want to come up here to party, but I guess we could cater to the local uh, like Spanish and Dominican community. Uh, so you guys can see where my brain's at today. But I was supposed to actually pick up a new piece of equipment, a deli slicer, but we'll just have to get it in a couple hours. I was kind of looking forward to showing that to you guys, but it's going to save me a lot of money on the labor costs for the jerky and, and cutting steaks as well. There's a lot of uh, different cuts of meat we can do on the deli slicer. I wish I, I knew about it. I could have um, used it for so many different things and got it a while ago because uh, it's not that much money and the electric is wired properly. Uh, we, I did make a mistake on the inventory this week for the beef kidney, so I did want to apologize if you guys ordered a beef kidney this week. Uh, we're not going to have it. I'm going to have to send the orders out without it, and we'll get some in next week. If I missed refunding your order on the beef kidney, just send me an email, but I think I got everyone. The main thing to show you guys this week is I made the local beef available last week and I have it packaged up already. So let's hop in the freezer real quick. So each package comes with around six pounds of ground beef, 10 pounds of miscellaneous roasts and whole cuts. And then we got some steaks in every package as well. Because the beef is Angus and I think I got jerked around a little bit, I have to charge more than I would like to for these packages. It's about $320 for 21 pounds of meat. And this is Angus, 100% grass fed. So generally speaking, when you're buying Angus beef, it's gonna be a lot more expensive. And, and the reason the Angus beef is more expensive is because it honestly tastes a little better. Uh, I've been eating this local beef for the past two weeks and it's, it's completely delicious. It's really fresh. Uh, so if you guys do order the beef package, the local Angus grass fed beef package, and you guys try it out, let me know how you like it. I know a couple people purchased it already, so I definitely want to hear your feedback on uh, how you like the meat compared to uh, the rest of the stuff that we sell. We do have plenty of jerky available now, all stocked up. Way too much jerky, actually. My guys haven't cut in jerky for like the past two weeks. But now I guess we should maybe try to move on to making something like meat granola just to add more products. I haven't experimented with the dehydrator yet to make the meat granola, so I'm not sure if it's going to work. But if we do that, then we'll basically have, you know, quite a nice selection of products on Frankie's Free Range Foods. In regards to expanding stuff on Frankie's Free Range Meat, I have no idea. Uh, Wi-Fi shielding, organ supplements, Frankie's Naturals, all that stuff downstairs. There's not really much to show you guys. We are a little limited on the water kefir. I think we have around 30 flavored bottles left and we won't have any until later this week. So if you guys want some water kefir, then I would definitely order it today. Pamek is in stock. The best bars are in stock. You might have a hard time getting some more whey protein, so I'm not sure how long that's going to last. I did just get some uh, samples of some new Wi-Fi shielding products that I've been talking about a while, so maybe we'll have a new selection on there too. Speaking of these other businesses, we do have quite a few orders, maybe 40 going out today to the post office. So if you guys have been waiting for any businesses besides Frankie's Free Range Meat, these are going to be sent out today. My guys have already gotten most of the orders done in the first few hours of the day. Not too many orders this week because I didn't do any new sales for... Black Friday or Cyber Monday and last week was Thanksgiving so people aren't ordering that much stuff. I mean I should probably order more of these styrofoam coolers just to stay on top of it because sometimes they're taking three or four weeks now to get here. I think the cheese inventory looks pretty good. Maybe we'll try some other water key for flavors but I've just been so exhausted the, the past few days I haven't been sleeping that well I'm trying not to uh, think too negatively and make any decisions. Uh, oh we did get the, uh, the HVAC units fixed last week. $900 a pop for two, so the guy charged me $1,800. I mean, 
You know, it's just too much negative bullshit. UPS, UPS is still jerking me around now that we have the holidays. You know, I'm losing a few packages a week, so I'm, I'm losing a lot of money, but I don't know what to do, honestly. I, I, I think I've said it before, but to, to sum it up simply, I don't have enough money to purchase a meat operating operation or, or build one myself, but I'm hemorrhaging money so much in this place because of that, so it's kind of like a double-edged sword. Like, the reason I'm not making money is because I don't have my own place. And everything keeps breaking every week because this is honestly not set up properly. So it's screwed around by the HVAC guy, screwed around by UPS, and screwed around by the new processor that did the local beef. I don't know how much meat the guy took, but I, I paid so much for the cow. I didn't pay him much for processing, but <laughs> I got like, like 300 pounds of meat total, and the hanging weight of the animal was like 700 or 800 at least, so I don't know. I usually like giving people the benefit of the doubt and trusting them, but... You know, it's the first time he did anything for me. The guy probably figures he never saw me again. And what, what got me suspicious was I told him I wanted to come up and watch him cut it and do it with him. And he just, he ignored that request and he just cut it and told me to come pick it up. So, yeah, I'm just inclined to believe that anyone running a business that is profitable is just scamming the hell out of every single person and then just doesn't do business with them anymore. That's the only way I can imagine it. Because I haven't had one person give me the benefit of the doubt. All right, guys, I'm gonna go pick up that piece of equipment and uh, I gotta, I'm gonna give this guy a little bit of a hard time because he gave me a guarantee on the bandsaw and I had to pay that technician 250 to fix it. And then he's like, oh, well, he's like, like what do you mean? He gave me a, too much nonsense. Uh, you guys can go to frankdestrofile.com to check out everything and support me. Uh, hopefully next week's a little better. But um, thank you guys for joining. Please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos Almost forgot more negative nonsense I the the marrow bones that were stored in the facility last week I gotta try to get them on the phone because I called them every single day Last week and I didn't get anyone so <laughs> They basically have like ten thousand dollars worth of meat. That's mine and I can't even get it so Hopefully I can figure that out this week, but I, I've kind of had enough. So I'll see you guys for tomorrow.